Greetings YouTube. And welcome to my first video. I thought I'd, uh, for my first video, do a toolbox tour so that uh, everybody knows what tools I use in all my other videos that I will be making. I have a US Pro toolbox which I've had a couple of years. Uh, the stainless steel variety and next to that I have an old Sealy roll cab which I've had since the 1980s and a Draper middle box which I've had about three or four years and a Sealy Superline Pro top box I shall start with the top left drawer and in here I have all my taps and dies. I have several cheap sets of taps and dies so that I can cut threads on just about of just about any type um, from pretty standard fine UNF and an old Whitworth set which I have here. This Whitworth set was my father's set. It's of uh, good quality and uh, not that I use it very much anymore but the, uh, the tap handle comes in very handy and uh, so does the die holder. And uh, I have a homemade die holder because I broke one so I decided to make it and I also have several oh, that's a 14 mil uh, tap which I had to buy separately I have got another tap and die set which is metric which is in one of my other drawers because there's no room in here this is one of the problems I have with this toolbox it's not really deep enough so that's that for drawer number one. Second drawer down. Allen keys. Uh, several sets of Allen keys and some torques. There are some uh, T handles. The box, red box here is a collection of older Allen keys, which I've had for a long time very useful if you need to modify something. I've also got a handle here which is for the use of with the normal long allen keys. Just put them in there, twist the handle and you have a handle, T-handle for those. And uh, I have a 7mm allen key here which I had uh, great fun trying to obtain and it's for the old uh, box all front brakes next drawer down all my measuring bits and bobs there's a uh, infrared thermometer with a laser measuring tapes, a couple of those a square calipers. I've got uh, two veneer gauges and uh, angle finder and then magnets, mirrors, and uh, the straight edge feeler gauges. Micrometer, I have two small micrometers, one metric and uh, one old school, a homemade brake pipe clamp for shutting off the supply on rubber hoses, and uh, a few other bits and pieces. And that's it for that drawer.
Now the next draw down, spanner draw. This has AF spanners from 3 eighths to 1 inch and stubby and older spanners which are all AF and a few sets of metric spanners obstruction spanners like this because I didn't have anywhere else to put them and then in this corner brake spanners and flare nut spanners of the AF variety and brake adjusting spanners okay. and the next roll down we have a pass through socket set of the quarter drive variety smaller and uh, that's the sort of thing you have hole in the centre quite a useful little thing of course some bits with it as well and uh, a driver now two electric drivers bought the bought this one in, in Lidl or Lidl as you pronounce it whatever quite a good little tool does get used a fair bit for interior work and what else I have a couple of pry bars smaller ones and a trim tool and then over here various plastic trim tools and a set of picks and now the top middle drawer of uh, diagnostic equipment um, a quick scanner uh, TCS for my laptop and then I have two Antec amp clamps and a small battery tester also got got this little device which works with a mobile phone don't use it a lot because I don't have good Wi-Fi here in the workshop but, uh, that's it for that one next draw down is my multimeters and test lights a normal test light there several small ones over here digital test light my go-to multimeter an amp clamp in this one battery tester and another clamp meter in this one next draw down diagnostic leads various for my uh, scan tools I think this one's the BMW and various other odds and sods and diagnostic leads for the use of have crocodile clips uh, pins and various sized connectors for testing very useful and a homemade interface for the old Range Rover next one down punches and chisels various automatic center punch a couple of pry bar thingies a normal chisel, wood chisel handy for scraping a pickle fork breaking ball joints a pack of cheap drills and in the corner there a box of punches here I have 
a small tap and die set which is metric used it loads nice little tool again a roll of punches another bits and bobs uh, if anybody knows what that is put it in the comments below and I shall tell you at the end of the video next one down all my bit drivers and bits and uh, some homemade bits and bobs as well I needed a long bit driver so I made this one out of an old screwdriver and this T handle I made that can't remember where the steel came from I think it was out of a, an old printer or something Again, useful of the wobbly driver for the wobbly bits and a shorter wobbly driver and uh, then some of the bits that I've made like a half inch to quarter drive adapter which is quite useful and a little driver which I made out of a an old ratchet handle oh and uh, this extendable screwdriver useful sometimes it's also a ratchet Oh, and a small driver set which I normally take around in, in the on the motorcycle so I've got some sort of tool that's it for this one back to the top of the box again on the right hand side of a relay tester this is a useful little tool some spare pins in here I have an 8 channel Hantec oscilloscope with its leads and a USB lead for that and a homemade relay bypass switch and at the back here some uh, a digital ref counter a tachometer you just point at whatever you want, stick a white mark on it, point that at it, and it reads out the RPMs. Okay. Lumin's draw. Uh, I've got all my torches in here, various, and uh, got a 12 volt one at the back there. You clamp onto the 12 volt battery of a car, two head torches, uh, a couple of LED torches, and a long wand torch which extends on his magnetic. This is uh, quite a nice little thing, it extends into quite a long item, and the ends hinge up with a magnet on them so you can clamp it under the bonnet or wherever it just fits in there and uh, a couple of rechargeables this is a useful one like a little LED special the magnet on the bottom and a little flip top torch at the top next one down files and a box cutter scissors some small needle files a craft knife more needle files underneath in the box there and 
couple of little grinding grinding stones and uh, I've got round files square files triangular files half round and a couple of chisels for scrapers and that's about it for that draw and the last draw in the top box is the deepest draw in the top box and it is the only deep draw I have my tablet Android tablet uh, PC tablet here, uh, Windows tablet, and I have two laptops with uh, most of my software, diagnostic software on. Uh, my receipt book and uh, the chargers and power supplies for these. Now the very top of the box, there I have my half inch drive sockets and ratchets and uh, my 3 8 drive ratchets on the other side of the stud remover there oil filter removal tool a few bits and pieces that I've made like my palm ratchets made these I've got a uh, 3 8 drive and a quarter drive and these are made out of cheap uh, ratchets which I've cut off and turned these up on the lathe small t-bar that I made to get in an awkward position and I have a speed brace half inch drive um, torque wrench, my snap-on ratchet has just been refurbished, and my daily ratchets, I've got a Draper Expert and an SK, I have a T-bar, half inch drive, a long breaker bar, and another half inch break bar far end and I have AF sockets at this end my metric sockets at the other and I've got deeps and impacts and the standard chrome and the other end 3 8 drive torque wrench of this up this end which is an extendable half inch drive I also have an extendable quarter drive over here and there's the other 3 8 drive is in, in another drawer and a small brittle ratchet here again 3 8 drive One of my favourite ones. This is a long breaker bar. Three eighths. Flex head ratchet, locking, locking one. Very useful. A long half inch ratchet, a long 3 8 drive extension, a couple of small breaker bars, 3 8 drive, and a couple of 3 8 drive ratchets as spares, cheapos. Um, sockets, I have these things which are colour coded and have a protective layer on them for wheels. Uh, specialist homemade plug spanner. 
which that was the fit of my motorcycle where other plug spanners can't get in. Little homemade crow's foot with extension welded to it, which I made to take a turbo off a of Turbo Technics Sierra 2.8. And here are angle gauge when talking things and plug spanners in the far back corner. That's it, that's the top of the box. Thank you for watching my video. Part 2 will be the bottom box. Please like and subscribe. Thanks again. See you next time.